Salad doesn't always have to mean lettuce and tomatoes. My steamed salmon niçoise salad combines steamed salmon cooked to perfection with fresh green beans and a Greek yogurt dressing to create a light and satisfying meal. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today, our celebration is all about salad, but not just any salad. We're making my steamed salmon niçoise salad. So let's get started. What is a niçoise salad, or also known as salad niçoise? It's a traditional salad, kind of French origins. It has green beans and tomatoes, boiled potatoes, eggs, anchovies, sometimes tuna. So I'm making a little different twist on it. This is one of those great recipes. It goes really fast. So hang on. Niswa salad. I said green beans. I have here 10 ounces or 285 grams of green beans. All I did was I trimmed the stem end off and I gave them a quick blanch. What's blanching? Blanching is when you take produce, you plunge it into boiling salted water for 30 seconds to a minute until it turns bright, bright green. Then you put it in an ice water bath and that stops the, the cooking immediately. So you get this beautiful, crisp, tender vegetable. But let's just hold these aside for a moment. Let's talk about the salmon. You can't have a salmon niçoise salad without the salmon. I have here eight ounces of, or 226 grams, of salmon filet that I steamed and cooled. Now steaming, all I did was I took that exact same pot of boiling salted water and I have a steamer basket that fits on top. I sprayed the basket with cooking spray and then I put these fillets in skin side down and I steamed them for five to six minutes until they reached an internal temperature of 130 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 54 degrees Celsius. Now I took them out and let them rest. With carryover cooking, they reached 135, which is perfect. And here they are. But we're not ready for these yet either. What we're gonna start with is the dressing. Now this uses a Greek yogurt dressing. It's very, very simple. I have a nice big bowl here. I'm gonna start with plain Greek yogurt. This is the kind that I like. This is five ounces or 150 grams. Now, plain Greek yogurt. Do not get vanilla. I made that mistake once. I wasn't paying attention. Not so much. Make sure you get plain, always right into our bowl. I like Greek yogurt for this because it's thicker and it's not sweet, this plain yogurt. Okay. To that, we're going to add some red wine vinegar. I have just two teaspoons or 30 mils of red wine vinegar. It's gonna add some more acid, loosen up a little bit. Next is Kalamata olives. I love them. I have two ounces or 60 grams, and I'm only gonna use about half of them right now. Just about half right in. We're just gonna give this a good stir to mix it all up. Just like that. Doesn't get much easier. All right, this is nice and mixed. Now remember those green beans? They're gonna go right into this yogurt dressing, just like that. Now I just wanna give these a toss and get them coated. Just be patient. Looks a little gloppy at first, but it will all come together. All right, these are nice and coated. I'm gonna sneak one out because I wanna taste this. Now that they've added the green beans, they still have a little water on them and I wanna make sure the seasoning is good. We may need to add some more salt or pepper, probably pepper, but let's find out. All 
I think so. A little more pepper. Now you'll just taste my dressings with some of the vegetables that I put in there because that's how it's gonna taste when you eat it. Good grinding of pepper. And another quick toss. All right, and it's time to assemble the salad. This is one of those great things where you can be, what do I always say? Artfully messy. So let's put these beans on. You can, of course, arrange these beautifully, line them all up. But you know, in this case, I kind of want them a little haphazard. Get them all on there. All right, just like that. Beautiful, oops, I missed one, there we go. Now salmon, we cannot have salmon salad without salmon. These two guys, remember, I put them skin side down. I peeled the skin off. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Here's the skin, and really, just like that. It doesn't get any easier. You can just set that aside. Now we're gonna flake this in. Oops. Try that without banging. We're gonna flake this in. I'm just gonna use my fingers. I like it kind of chunky. We're just going to scatter it about. If you want it more fine, you could shred it with two forks. But I like doing it this way. I like touching my food. And look how pretty that is, that orange against the green, that great salmon color. And again, haphazardly. Just squeeze it gently, it all comes apart, and this is perfectly cooked salmon, I have to say. All right, next up is some hard-boiled eggs. I have two here. I'm just gonna cut them into quarters. Just like this. Just tuck them in here and there. Now this is making a pretty hearty salad that will serve two people. And it's very easy to increase this recipe to serve more. Another great thing about it, you can make a lot of this ahead of time. You can blanch your beans ahead of time, cook your eggs, Steam the salmon, and then just make the dressing right before you're ready to assemble. Now remember those last little bits of olives? We're just gonna scatter them about over the top. Just like that. Here, there, and everywhere. And if you're hearing clicking, that's one of my cats playing. playing with his reflection in the door. All right. I've got a little extra virgin olive oil. Just gonna give this a very light drizzle. Just like that. And of course, one more big grinding of black pepper from high above so you get it everywhere. How beautiful is that? Now I'm gonna sneak a taste. No one will notice. And of course I have my wine at the ready. I'm gonna take a little piece of salmon from right back here, get some of that dressing on it. Mmm, mmm. That is really, really good. The yogurt is really bright, and the extra acid from the red wine vinegar cuts through the yogurt, and it cuts through the fattiness of the salmon. Not too much, tones it down a little bit. And I've already tasted the beans, I know they're bright and crispy. The egg is just going to add in so much more body and flavor to it. Give a little sip of wine, as always. Mmm, 
That's good stuff. All right, as always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for basic skills or cocktails, and every other Sunday for live streams. Okay, while Phil and I go eat the salad for our dinner, I want you to go and watch some of these videos over here. So until next time, cheers.